Okay, so this is just like a uh, random uh, rant, basically about getting an attorney and how much it's like selling your soul to Satan and just basically babble about Mr. Unpleasant Dickhead Preacher. Uh, first of all, today I got my uh, lawyer for my social security. Um, hopefully he's going to help. He's one of the best in town and... Um, he doesn't usually take a case unless he thinks he can win it. So that's good. Man, it's bad. I mean, you people see 10 minutes of my life every time I make, well, a maximum of 10 minutes of my life. But there are times when I spend entire days lying in bed in pain or trying to stay out of pain. And I don't do shit. That's why it's been few and far between between my life last few like videos but um yeah hopefully i can get something done about that get myself some social security disability and then retrain myself for something else and get myself an actual job so i can get off it's not like i want to be on it for the rest of my life i am not going to use it as a crutch i am going to use it to get my life back together it's fine i don't have menial tasks that i can perform I will find something that I can do, and I will learn it, and I will get my ass off Social Security in a real job. But uh, right now, I'm incapable of doing anything productive. Well, almost. But I'm in pain constantly, um, and I need to find out what the hell's wrong with me and fix it. That's what, another thing that's good if you're on Social Security app. Yeah, certain medical benefits, I want to get whatever's wrong with me fixed or alleviated or as much done as possible to alleviate this fucking pain. Um, I'm not one of the moochers. So if anybody sits there and says, hey, you just want to live off the fucking system for the rest of your life. All I got to say to you is fuck you in the ass with a big rubber dick nigga bitch. You don't know shit about me. I want to get on social security so that I can get my life back together. So I can get something productive. Even if I can train myself to do something, I can sell myself. Train myself for a task I can do that I can sell. Or whatever. I don't care. I don't want to live on Social Security for the rest of my life. And I don't intend to. So anyone that wants to be the detractor, that's your problem, not mine. And I care less what you have to think. And on this video, in this video alone, because I feel like crap and, well, it's my video and I can do what I want with the responses. Anyone negatively talking to me will be deleted. So don't even bother, it won't stay up long. And I'm saying that on my video. I will delete heart hurtful comments immediately upon seeing them. Um, and if need be, block that user. Um, I don't do this on all my videos. Usually I'm good about it, but... This one I'll do it on. And I'm admitting to it beforehand, so there. Um, you've got your right to free speech, and I have my right to just shut you the fuck up. <laughs> Self-censorship, gotta love it. Anyway, next order of business. Mr. Unpleasant Preacher the Dickhead. Um, yeah, I've been watching your videos. Your videos both at the same time uh, amuse me and piss me off. You know, I mean, you're sitting there talking about, okay, when you were talking about why Christians shouldn't celebrate Christmas, you sit there and um, say, never let your emotions get involved. Well, dude, you're, you're, you're run by an emotion. It's called hate. You hate anyone who doesn't practice the same kind of religion as you. You hate anyone who who isn't like you. You hate women who work. You hate women who speak their mind. You hate. All you do is hate. That's not Christian. That's not even close to Christian. What you're doing is blasphemy against Jesus, if he was the Messiah. Okay? You don't sit there and fucking tell people what Jesus thought, pal. You're not Jesus, and you didn't read his mind. He's got the Bible to go on, but that's not much of his life. Um, 
let's take for instance um going around what you do rebuking people shouting at them you know you you know the things you say provoke this upon you and you, you relish in it you relish in your own hatred and the hatred others bring upon you, you feed on it you're like a hate vampire you feed on that shit um you're disgusting you're a slap in the face to christianity dude you're a street preacher with no no knowledge of god whatsoever no knowledge of the god of your bible um Old Testament God, depraved lunatic. New Testament God, um, depraved lunatic with a, with, with, yeah, anyway, um, gentle Jesus beacon, yeah, whatever, um, you're not anything like Jesus. Didn't Jesus see a woman, they were like stoning a woman who was sinning and they were going to kill her and he stopped them and he said, let he who is among you who is without sin cast the first stone. Well, you're a stone caster, pal. You better not be living in a class house because it won't last long. Um, my, my, you know, women shouldn't preach in the fucking, um, in the Senate, in, in, in church. Um, you, you people speak as though women are stupid. Women are somehow less human than men. You know, it's been proven scientifically and without a doubt. There is absolutely nothing that a man can do that a woman can't. And if a woman can't do it naturally, there are add-ons they can buy at the adult bookstore, okay? <laughs> Other than that, anything a man is capable of, a woman is capable of. There's one thing a woman can do that a man can't do. Well, okay, two things a woman can do that a man can't do. One is give birth. And the other one is that little chair thing. <laughs> Anybody ever done that? Put a chair up against the wall, lean up against the wall with your head touching it, and pick up the chair and stand up. A man cannot do this, but a woman can. Interesting. Anyway, um, bit of useless trivia for you people. Try it, why don't you? Anyway... Um, yeah, Mr. Pleasant Preacher, you're, you're, you're a disgrace to your own religion. Most people on YouTube, no, everyone on YouTube, like you, is a disgrace to the Christian faith. Um, you need to get your ass into a seminary and learn the real true thing. You know, I doubt you even know the history of how the Bible came to be, how it was put together. I very seriously doubt it, and I challenge you to make a video on why the Bible is the way it is and why it contains the books it does, and whose decision was it that the books appeared in the order they are and the amount of books, because there were several hundred different books going around, the Christian things that they had to choose from, and they chose those, what, 27 books, 20, 20 some odd books. Um, yeah, that wasn't de decided by God, pal. That was decided by man. And, um, you say that, um, you shouldn't take away or add to the word of God. Well, um, that was in the book of Revelations, and that was book specific to the book of Revelations. That did not in any way, shape, or form pertain to the entire Bible itself. Because if that were true, then the Protestants took out the Maccabees, and they are um, all um, guilty of that sin. Every single Protestant. Every last one of them. Including yourself. Because they took the Maccabees out. And the Maccabees were in the Bible, but removed by the Protestants. So, explain that one then. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say for now. Have a nice day.